To win in Chicago, it takes a middle linebacker bent on destruction. A running back unwilling to be tackled. and a coach with unwavering command. The Bears rode this formula to an NFC championship in 1985. And in 2006, they did it again. With Brian Urlacher as the modern day Dick Butkus. A running game that Walter Payton and Gail Sayers would have been proud of. and the coach with a plan on how to deliver a winner. Looking at our goals for the program, uh, the number one goal we'll have, the number one goal we'll have is to beat Green Bay. The number two goal that we'll have, of course, will be to win the division. And the third thing, of course, that we want to do uh, as an organization, the, the third goal that we want to have is to win the world championship, just like our 85 Bears. In Lovey Smith's second game as head coach, the Bears accomplished goal number one and defeated the Packers. In Smith's second season, the Bears beat the Packers two more times and achieved goal number two, the NFC North title. In Smith's third season, the Bears made it to the Super Bowl. Sails to the far side around the eight yard line to Hester. Under it and to the middle of the 15 to the 20, breaks free of the 25 to the 30, to the outside, 40, midfield! 30 of the Colts, 20, 15, Hester 5, oh, touchdown Bears! No the Bears scored on the first play, but ultimately they came up just short. Intercepted by the Colts, up the left side line of midfield to the 45. To the 35, to the 30, somebody get Calvin Hayden. Goodbye. I'm going to watch how they do it, so I know how to do it next time. We're going to get back there, man, for real. Every season, the groundwork is laid down in training camp. In the summer of 2006, Coach Lovey Smith began shaping a team that would become NFC champions. Uh, that's a tough one for you there, Brian. Brian, you come right to it. About if, if the three, if it's there, yeah, give yourself about one or two yards, all right, so you can go either gap. So just go back. Okay, this is what I did wrong. How would I make it right? Have an answer for everything you did wrong, all right? And can start correcting that today. Your first game is always tough. There should be a big improvement from the first game to the second one, all right? In the 2006 season opener, Rex Grossman followed the Jets over Lambeau with an aerial show of his own. Grossman, all kinds of time, loading up the deep ball. He's got Berrien inside the five, over the shoulder, end zone, touchdown. Berrien speed gets behind the secondary, and it's a 49-yard strike, and Grossman's wound up right now. In his first game as a pro, return man Devin Hester gave Bears fans an early glimpse of his talent. Devin Hester going to return it. He's going to run right, and with a burst to the 25-30, opening 35-40, right side midfield, got to block that field to the 40, no chance, goodbye, touchdown, welcome to the NFL, the Windy City Flyer, Devin Hester, takes it back 84 yards, baby. The defense began to establish itself as one of pro football's most dominating units. They may have feigned sadness, but the Bears were thrilled to deliver the first shutout of Brett Favre's pro career. The team returned to Chicago, where Rex Grossman continued his smoking hot start. 
He threw four touchdowns, two to tight end John Gilmore, and one to tight end Desmond Clark. When Grossman needed his target to have speed rather than muscle, he found Bernard Berrien. Winds up going deep for Berrien. Over the shoulder, Davy grab. End zone. Touchdown. The defense registered six sacks, two from defensive tackle Tommy Harris. The unit extended its scoreless streak to six quarters and forced fumbles on the Lions' first two possessions. After handing out another thrashing, Chicago was poised to complete an early NFC North sweep. The Bears introduced the 2-0 Vikings to their physical brand of football. Number 97, rookie defensive end Mark Anderson recovered a fumble to end a Vikings scoring threat. But ahead by three in the fourth quarter, Chicago would commit a critical mistake. Back to pass from the end zone. He's in trouble. Dumps it right. Intercepted Winfield. Touchdown! He threw it right to Winfield. It's a bad decision it's to, to get in that retreat, the back pedal, and try to get mustard on your ball, especially out of your own end zone. I've been on the sideline some games where play like that is made. Everybody kind of drops their head, you know, finger pointing, and a lot of anarchy on the sideline. But, you know, when I came off on the sideline, I didn't even say one word to Rex. I, mean, I saw the look in his face, and he knew exactly what he did. And not only did he know what he did, he knew what he had to do to correct the mistake. All right, we'll get another shot. Yeah. Get another shot. Let's put it in the zone, man. Yeah, yeah. The Minnesota Vikings were over there hugging each other and, and, and like the game was over with. But I knew then and there that uh, time's not finished till the clock is finished. Turnover. Keep the, the turnover. Oh, hey, just give me a little time, dog. A little bit. Keep right down. Down by four with just over three minutes left. The Bears needed to fumble to avoid defeat. Tommy Harris delivered it. Snap to Brad Johnson. Quick hitter. Oh, oh. Tommy Harris knocked it out. Bears have it. 36 yard line. A goalie up. What a play. On third and eight, they stripped Chester Taylor. Tommy Harris punched it out. A goalie up. Recovers the fumble. I, we asked, we begged, we pleaded, we prayed, we hoped, and we got it. Good job, Tom. Now it was up to Grossman to avenge his mistake and silence the Viking faithful with one last drive for a touchdown. We kept coming back on the sideline, telling the offensive coordinator, telling our position coach, hey, you know, we got to run a double move. We got to run a double move. Double move. Ain't nobody been in the middle all day. No. He kept it in his back pocket until he needed it. Snap 
Spencer Rex goes back to throw on five steps. Pocket holds. He winds up. Open man end zone. Touchdown! Rasheed Davis! Rex, thank you very much. never been so disappointed and so excited in the same quarter. Viking fans might say the same. Buckle up! Go drink and run! Have a safe ride home! The Bears were now alone atop the NFC North and would remain there for the rest of the season. Week 4 featured a showdown of unbeatens the winner would emerge as the team to beat in a clouded NFC. Again, the Bears defense set the toe. It's not 50. It's just the ball head. You think it's 50. It's not. After falling behind three to nothing, the Bears' offense overwhelmed the Seahawks' defense. Now throws end zone open touchdown. Musin Muhammad. Musin Muhammad and the dribble. And you hear the most calls. Touchdown Bears. Thomas Jones ran for 98 yards and two touchdowns. Rex Grossman sealed the win with a bomb to Bernard Berrien. Rex on the takeaway and a play fake. Sets his feet. Going deep. Going for Berrien. Over the shoulder. End zone. Touchdown. Touchdown there. Berrien. Hey, the man is emerging. He is getting behind defenses. After routing the defending NFC champs, the Bears were 4-0. In Week 5, former Bears head coach Dick Geron returned to Chicago. His new team proved no match for his old team. The Bills netted just 145 total yards and turned the ball over five times. The Bears scored on their first five possessions and cruised to yet another decisive victory. He's got buried over the shoulder, 35 of Buffalo down the right sideline. 15, 10, 5, diving for the pylon. Snap direction, his back pedal winds up, looking end zone, Davis, end zone, touchdown! The Bears putting out a clinic in every phase of the game and they stirred up a hornet's nest here. Now 5-0, the Bears' championship medal would face a stiff test from an unlikely team. Car 
Cardinals have not picked up a third and 11 or more all season. They have now. Anquan Bolden, touchdown. In the first half, the Arizona Cardinals dominated the Bears on both sides of the ball. Right 20, hot. Takes the snap, plays oh. fake, in trouble. Ball's knocked out of his hands. Swallow it up. It's Cardinal ball. Right 20, hot. Grossman on play action, trying to throw a lot. Intercepted. What is going on tonight? Gerald Hayes, the linebacker, picking up blocks. I'm gonna dig my way out of this. We'll be fine. That's all right. You good? You good? That's all right. Keep going. All right. Down 23 to three, late in the third quarter, Lovey Smith called on his defense to spark a turnaround. With five minutes left, Brian Erlacher helped cut the lead to six. The hand up veteran James stuck up the middle by Alfonso. Bone falls out, and it's picked up by the Bears. Running it. Tillman, are you kidding me? Touchdown. Defensive touchdown. Number two. Peter Tillman, 40 yards. Five minutes to play, and the Bears are back in this thing. Edrick James was on his feet fighting. Erlocker stripped that ball out of his right hand. Get it back. All we need is one. All right. All we need is that. Are we meant to win this game? Yes. Another defensive stop forced the Cardinals punt. Hester under it, backs up to his 16, runs right now. Looping inside, he's got room 30, 35, 40, 45 to the outside midfield, 45, 40, the punter to beat. He beat it, Devin Hester, all the way. Touchdown, oh. Bears. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> City Flyer, 82 yards. We talked about the Chicago Bears as a football team. And what you're seeing tonight, the first five games, their offense has carried them and done an excellent job. Tonight, the special teams and the defense have jumped up Devin Hester. He put a couple moves out there in, in route to that end zone. That was just incredible. It's an unreal game, dude. It's unbelievable. I've never seen anything like this. Whatever. The game had one more strange twist left. On the Cardinals' final drive, Pro Bowl kicker Neil Rackers had a chance to win the game with a 40-yard field goal. No, it's no good! Absolutely incredible, and the Bears are going to escape the desert to remain unbeaten at 6-0. This could be the most bizarre football game I've ever witnessed. Do you feel personally grateful to the defense for... Yeah, I mean, I, I mean I've never played so bad and won a game like that. That was unbelievable. So, um, you know, <clears throat> we got a bye week to talk about how bad I played, but <laughs> we, can, uh, we need to praise how well our defense made those plays and punt returns and all that, so... You know, give it time. Give it at least a day. The Bears are who we thought they were. And that's why we took the damn field. Now, if you want to crown them, then crown their ass. But they are who we thought they were. And we let them off the hook. Thanks, Coach. In week eight, the Bears donned orange and crushed the San Francisco 49ers. Rex Grossman rebounded from his poor showing in Arizona and threw three touchdowns, two to Desmond Clark. Thomas Jones added 111 yards rushing, 
as the Bears bolted out to a staggering 41 to nothing halftime lead. The league leaders in takeaways forced five more turnovers. That ball was popped out of there, and Ricky Manning swipes it at the 30 yard line. Erlacher showing blitz, he's coming. Back to throw, Smith passes batted down up in the air, intercepted by Erlacher. Erlacher coming on a blitz that time. Not only jumps up and bats the ball down, but comes down with it as well. At 7 0, the Bears were off to their best start since 1985. In week nine, the winning streak finally came to an end. The Dolphins raced out to an early lead thanks to a Jason Taylor interception return. Then sealed the upset with a steal in the end zone by Chris Chambers. At the Meadowlands, the Bears set out to restore their swagger. The Giants took advantage of two early turnovers to take a 13-3 lead. Playing good right. I mean, they they playing they they making all the right plays, man. Statement game. It's not over yet. We called us out. Keep playing hard. Keep playing hard. With 90 seconds left in the half, the Bears face third and 22. Giving to Thomas Jones up the middle, 35. Three at the 40. Away at the 45 left to midfield. First down for the Bears on third and 22. Three plays later, Grossman surprised the Giants deep. He's got Bradley inside the five. Touchdown Bears! Welcome back, baby. Keep yeah. playing. Hey, we ain't satisfied. Still a lot more work to be done, bro. Here we go, the goal, baby! In the second half, the Bears rally continued. Moussa Muhammad's touchdown grab gave the Bears their first lead. And then Devin Hester extended it. Feely gets set, 52 yarder, middle of the field. No way he's making this. And over and, and it sure. is going to be short. And now Devin Hester going to run it out at the 5, to the 10, to the 15, right 20, 25, 30. Walker's downfield. Gets one from Tim at the side. 40. 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Oh, no way. They did it again. No way. Now the Bears have extended their lead on the Giants. Stunning. The folks here in New Jersey. I saw the mom. I thought it was some pot. Boys, it's going to be a show tonight. He waited a long time to bring it out. The blocker set up, and Devin Esther went right to the right side. See how I waited? Yeah, that was smart. Not, you had so many blocks, huh? I know. No, I killed some fat boys. I mean, I, hey, I heard the fat boy go, oh. <laughs> I crushed him. <laughs> I crushed him. Esther's 108-yard return tied Nathan Basher's mark for the longest in NFL history. That's it right there, fellas. That's it. Hey, they got, we got through their little run. Now we kick their ass. That's what we do, man. At 8-1, the Bears had served notice they would not be toyed with. The 
Bears returned to the Meadowlands the following week and once again made themselves feel at home. Snap to Pennington, looking right, winds up, throw! Picked up in the end zone by Erlacher, running it out 5-10. Left to the 15 of the 20, 25 on his feet at the 30, and brought down! That's an excellent job. Big freaking play right there, baby. Right 20! Right 20, up! Bears got all the offense they needed with 173 yards rushing and one big strike from the passing game. Snap to Grossman, throw on to the right side. Pass is caught by Bradley in midfield. He's on his way at the 40, 35, 30, foot race 20. Touchdown, Bears! Mark Bradley working on the rookie, Drew Coleman. The open field tackle missed by Coleman inside a route by Bradley and no safety. You pray for that right there, bro. Oh, yeah. Catch a hitch and then turn around and there's no one there? Yeah, we had a linebacker chasing you. Yeah, Bradley. So if you would have got yeah, caught, Bradley. Bradley. I, mean, I saw him on the jumbo. You saw him on the jumbo? Did it. Chicago! Yeah! Number 32. Chicago brought its punishing style of play to New England. Ben Watson inside the 30, gives up the football from the air, reshaped Caldwell, picks it up. Down 17 to 13 in the closing minutes, the defense came up with their fourth turnover of the game. Dylan types inside a breach and comes Erlacher, and then slammed down, ball down. Bears have it at the 21. Bears defense comes up with a takeaway again. Wow. But this time the comeback was not to be. Going deep. For Rasheed Davis, over the shoulder, intercepted by the Patriots. The loss dropped the Bears to 9-2. and two. <laughs> Against the Vikings, Chicago took command early, thanks to return man extraordinaire Devin Hester. He's taken on the hop by Hester. All Vikings to the right side. Goes back to the left, breaks a tackle up the middle, 40, 35, 30. Here we go, Hester to the 20. Cluey missed him at the 10, five, touchdown! Hey, Miami, but you're making it real warm right now. You're making it real warm right now. Spirits cooled when Tommy Harris was lost for the season with a torn hamstring. Even with Harris out, the defense remained dominant. Safety sealed the win and the NFC North title. I'm about to put that hat on. Play for the hat today. No, for the rings later on. Yeah, hey, let's get them on. Let's get them on now. All right? Hey, guys, it's hard to go back to back. Winning the NFC North championship. Great job. Give it up for the Bears. Right now. The Bears and their fans then traveled to St. Louis. Who's 
stadium is this? Hey, they got a lot of Chicago fans out here. Those who made the trip were treated to an offensive slugfest. Grossman, three-step drop, fires a slant there, he's got it in stride. 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Chicago. Grossman on the takeaway, three steps, lobbing left, end zone, over the shoulder, Mohammed! Touchdown, Bears, and what a beauty! Chicago got contributions from all phases, passing, rushing, and most notably, special teams. You gotta watch that kid, eh? He can go 80 to 90 at any time. Devin Hester. They get the 25. Angling to the near side, 30. Blows by him out of the 40 near side, midfield. Here goes Devin Hester, 40, 35, 30, 20, 15, 10. Dancing to the end zone. Touchdown! The Windy City Flyer in the show me state showed him a lot again. I told you he can go 90 at any time. You gotta stop kicking to him, Lig. He changed his game, ladies and gentlemen. He changed his game. Devin Hester, y'all, that boy tough, man. I definitely had him as one of my sleepers. In the fourth quarter, Hester struck again. Starts at the 10, veering right now, angling to the middle at the 20. It's the gas, 25, 30, 35, 40. Forget it! Nobody's gonna get him! Long gone, Devin Hester, you are ridiculous! 10, 5, dancing to the end zone, touchdown! An NFL record, six return touchdowns for the Windy City Flyer. Nobody touched him. He blew by Wilkins. I mean, go with the onside kick for crying out loud. Don't kick it to him, I tell you that. You're gonna learn that from the first one. In week 15, Lovey Smith's Bears got an unexpected fight from the lowly Buccaneers. Rex Grossman threw for a career high 339 yards and twice found Desmond Clark for score. The Bears got rushing touchdowns from both Thomas Jones and Cedric Benson. Benson hangs down near the two, breaks a tackle to the goal line, end zone, touchdown! But the Buccaneers rallied for 21 fourth quarter points to tie the score at 31 and send the game into overtime. In the extra session, Grossman faced third and eight. Going deep down the left side, up in the air, making the grab inside the 20 of the Buccaneers, Rasheed Davis. The catch set up a game-winning field goal drive for Robbie Gold. Robbie Gold's kick is up, it is good, and the Bears have won. And they've clinched home field advantage throughout the NFC playoffs. If the Lions believe the Bears would let up, Mark Anderson proved otherwise. Kitten takes, back pedals to the pocket, in trouble, hit by Mark Anderson. It looks like the ball is out, Bears football! And the rookie shining like a veteran again. In the final seconds, the Lions had a chance at victory. But Devin Hester knocked it away. Back of the end zone, incomplete! That's it, baby! The last ditch fingertip effort by the Bears DB to knock that ball incomplete. In the regular season finale, the Bears suffered an ugly loss to the Packers. And Grossman had the worst performance of his career.
he and the Bears would rebound in the NFC Divisional Playoffs. of the postseason, the Bears won a 12-play, 80-yard mark. Seahawks opening drive nearly ended with a turnover. Matthew gets rid of it. The ball's almost picked up, but it's caught by Daryl Jackson, who nearly gets to the sticks for a first down, and the ball bouncing off the cornerback, Charles Tillman. Ah! Should have had that damn pick. Huh? Should have had that pick. Yeah. yeah. That's a, ah! Ball is my friend. My On the first play of the second quarter, Seattle tied the game at seven. One play later, Bernard Berrien and Grossman put the Bears back ahead. Sets, has time, arches back, looking down the middle for Berrien. Over the shoulder, 20, 10, 5, go touchdown! Touchdown, Bernard! Rex was able to survey the field, plan his feet, and throw with accuracy and distance. After Seattle tied the game at 14, Grossman and the Bears' offense responded once again. Musin Muhammad's catch set up fourth and one from the Seahawks' seven. Coach Smith opted to go for it. Snap to Grossman, handing off. Thomas Jones, following his man, end zone! Right side, touchdown! Touchdown, Thomas Jones! Great call by Coach Smith. In the second half, Seattle pulled ahead 24-21. Plays that went Chicago's way all season were now going for naught. Hester's going to have to back up and negotiate this one. Drops it, picks it up. Inside his own 35, makes a man miss. Goes up the right sideline. Here we go to the 40, to the 35, 30, 25, 20. But Parker down inside the 40. The guy is good. An illegal block nullified Hester's return, and the Bears remain down by three. Let's get, let's get Hasselbeck fired up, man. Let's get him mad, like he was in the beginning, the first play, first quarter. No doubt about it, Bears need a turnover. In the fourth quarter, the defense rose to the occasion. Hasselbeck throws it right to Ricky Manning Jr. I didn't realize he just had to ask for it, and, they, and he would deliver. Do that more often. With two minutes left and the score tied, Seattle chose to go for it on fourth and one from the Bears' 44. Now is the time. Hey, we break this huddle. Let's get them fans into it, baby. Let's lead up that enthusiasm. Let's go.
Shot. Plus the ball, got it, then handed it off. They stop it. They stop Alexander. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Seattle mounted one last drive before the end of regulation, but the Bears snuffed it out. Wait, 83! Shotgun snap to Hasselbeck has got all day to patrol. Now here comes Tate Jackson! And down goes Hasselbeck! In overtime, just like against Tampa, Grossman looked for Rasheed Davis. Grossman, back to throw, tight pocket, down the seam, over the shoulder, caught Rasheed Davis, inside Seattle's 40-yard line. How he hung on to it, I don't know. Rasheed Davis, the little guy, coming up with big plays. Now it was up to Robbie Gold to make a 49-yard field goal. In the NFC Championship game, the Bears' defense delivered an early statement by forcing two quick fumbles. Thrown by Brees to Colston, out of a tackle. Ball. Crossing midfield, the ball stripped out. It's bouncing around and picked up by Vasher. At the 45 of the Bears, to the 40. Bears football! <laughs> There you go! There you go! Let's go! Kick that, get out! Oh. We're gonna get us a take play again. Then the special teams got into the act. He's gonna come right to the 20, tries to blow through whatever oh. defender's there. The ball is stripped down, recovered by the Bears at the 30 yard line in New Orleans! Ahead 9 to nothing, and with Rex Grossman struggling, the Bears ran eight straight plays for Thomas Jones. Saints rallied and cut the deficit to two. He's going to throw it downfield for Bush. Wide open, 30, 40, putting a move midfield. Can anybody catch Bush? He's the fastest guy in the field. But in doing so, they stoked the Bears' fire, and they were about to get burned. Pointing at Brian Erlacher on the way to the end zone. That's not USC smart, really but hey, knows. you can flaunt your talent. But I tell you what, eventually you're going to have to come across the middle, and Erlacher will be there waiting for you. we got to tighten up now. We gotta tighten up. Understand this. Spot the 14 points. That's it for now. Let's go. The Saints' demise began just steps from their own end zone. Snap 
DeBreeze play fake coming free on a blitz. Briggs has to make him throw the ball incomplete. Now what? Officials conferred as to whether Drew Brees intentionally grounded the ball from his end zone. If he did, the Bears would be awarded the safety. The marker comes out! Safety! It looked like a prayer being asked for by the Bear defensive line out of all the Agumlia and company. Got a little breath. Like you gave us a little breath. Hey, man, we can't let up, bro. We cannot let up. We're 20. In the fourth quarter, snow began to fall. Rex Grossman broke out of his bunk, and the Bears took over the game. Late pressure, throws down the left end. Oh! And buried inside the five! Go line! Touchdown! Touchdown, Bears! Absolutely an incredible catch! The New Orleans Saints showed an early blitz. And Rex threw the ball and gave Bernard Barron an opportunity. The Bears extend their lead to 25 to 14. Give me one more. That's not good enough. Accelerate to the quarterback. Go back. Let's go. Pick up their century up front. A pair of touchdown runs added the finishing touches to a Bears masterpiece. Handing off Benson up the middle at the five to the goal line. Enzo! Touchdown! The hand off to Jones, throws it in reverse, looking for blocking help, running left, cuts inside the tail. Oh, the five! Enzo! Touchdown! Chicago. For the first time in 21 years, Chicago could celebrate an NFC championship.
This NFL Films production has been brought to you by NFL Network. Watch the National Football League 24 hours a day on NFL Network.